Hey, it's your apologetics guy, Mikkel, doing another vlog for you. And this time we're answering the question, was Jesus' virgin birth copied from pagan myths? Now, there are four examples from other religions that tend to come up all the time as supposedly the same story as Jesus. But, you know, I did a series over Christmas break um, talking about these alleged parallels so that you can see how we know that the story of the virgin birth wasn't copied from any of them. I'm going to share all of those with you right now, but stay till the end because we're going to take a blowtorch up to something. Now let's walk and talk. So one day a student told me that he saw a YouTube video called Zeitgeist. And because of that, he was wondering if the story of Jesus was really based on pagan myths. Like the video said that Jesus' virgin birth was copied from an Egyptian god by the name of Horus. So then I told him the first thing that you need to do if you ever are hit with this kind of challenge is to track down the actual story of Horus because most people don't know about Egyptian mythology. And so I think some people just kind of get this idea that they can get away with making up random things that were never a part of the religion in the first place. Like the idea that Horus's origin story is just like Jesus' virgin birth. But I'll tell you that is totally false. So according to Egyptian mythology, Horus's mom was a god named Isis who married a god named Osiris. And you know, the great hymn to Osiris actually says that Horus was not born of a virgin. It actually says Isis took in his seed and then she had Horus. So the idea that Christians just copied the story of Jesus' virgin birth from Horus doesn't work right off the bat because there's no virgin birth there to copy. There's no virgin, there's not even a woman. In fact, there are no human beings in this whole exchange. So there is no story anywhere about Horus being born of a virgin at all. And so the story of Jesus' virgin birth wasn't copied from Horus. You know, a guy once asked me if Jesus' story was actually copied from an old religion that had a god named Mithra. Well, the first thing to check out is, are there even any stories, any myths saying that Mithra was born of a virgin? Because you know what? There aren't, not one. Now, there are a couple of versions about uh, how Mithra was created, but none of them, none of them are a virgin birth. Like in the Roman version, Mithra was born as a full-grown adult coming out of the side of a solid rock. You know, there's even an ancient inscription that says Mithra was born from the rock. So there's no virgin in Mithra's story. There's not even a woman. So unless you want to call a rock a virgin, that's not going to work. You can be confident that Jesus' virgin birth wasn't copied from the story of Mithra. So one Christmas, I saw this thing on ABC News that compared the story of Jesus' virgin birth to the Roman emperor, Caesar Augustus. And there was this guy on the show who said that um, virgin birth stories were all over Greek and Roman mythology. So then what did I do? I checked to see if Augustus' story actually talks about a virgin birth at all. And you know what? It doesn't. So there's a Roman historian named Suetonius, and he tells us that Augustus' mom was already married before this snake suddenly showed up while she was sleeping. And the story goes that she found this strange mark on herself, and then 10 months later, Augustus was born. But Augustus' mom for sure wasn't a virgin because she already had a kid before Augustus was born. Yes, Augustus had an older sister named Octavia. And so there's no way that the virgin birth of Jesus was copied from this myth about Caesar Augustus. So was the story of Jesus' virgin birth copied from Alexander the Great? Now there was a, a Greek historian by the name of Plutarch, and he tells us that the story of Alexander goes like this. Alexander's mom had a dream that her womb got hit by lightning, and then his dad had his own weird dream that uh, he was closing up her womb. And now when he asked the soothsayer about this, it m actually made him think that she was cheating on him. So well then, one day he found her in bed with a snake. The story makes it sound like she somehow had sex with the snake. He thought she'd become the consort of a god before Alexander was born. So there's actually no virgin birth in the story of Alexander at all. Now contrast those very weird details with Jesus' very simple birth story. No, you can be sure that the virgin birth wasn't copied from Alexander. 
Okay, we're here at Feng Sha. We're gonna get a dirty boba. So let's see how they light it on fire for us. All right, thank you. So the next time you hear that the virgin birth was copied from pagan myths, take some time to track down the actual story and you'll see that there's nothing at all out there that even looks like the story of Jesus' virgin birth. That's how we know the virgin birth wasn't copied from pagan myths. But how do we know that the church just didn't make the whole thing up? I've got a whole other video on that, so I hope you'll check it out. Thanks so much for coming along with me here on these vlogs. Merry Christmas to you, and until next time, keep the faith.